Hey everyone, what is good? Welcome back to the channel. This is Silver Hyena, back again with these watercolor brush markers that I had picked up from Ross. Yes, the place where you dress for less. I happen to really enjoy shopping for art supplies there. Yeah, so even like $6 seems like it would be a pretty good deal. $4, even better. And I didn't realize this when I bought them, but it looked like an employee got a little bit overzealous with the knife. But you know what? That's okay. I don't care. It's cheap plastic. It was $4. Let's open up these bad boys and see what they're made of. All right. And I forgot to take the tape off. <sighs> but that is what scissors are for. Jeez. Oh, it cut through the plastic, but not the tape. Ugh, there we go. Oh, I like this. It's actually in a tray, so it doesn't go scattering everywhere. Look at that. <sighs> so satisfying. Okay, so it looks like a pretty standard color selection for a 12-piece set. You've got black, brown, those are pretty much your neutrals, and then you've got a standard rainbow. So, it's time to just see how these work. Alright, so we got like the really nice flexible brush tip it looks like. And... Oh boy. Well, that is disappointing. Oh, wait, maybe it just needs time for the juices to flow. Maybe it can get better. Because, like, the tip itself, it feels really nice, but, uh... Oh. Oh, I'm having feelings that I'm gonna be having a bit of a meltdown here. Let's see how well it reacts to water. Uh, this is probably going to be a very short video. Okay, so this is what I've got for the swatches, and I can't say I'm terribly hopeful about these. Really, right now, all I can see is, oh, aside from bouncy camera, um, this looks like it's gonna be a hot mess. But I am gonna try to make something with it, but I make no promises because so far these things are almost as dry as Death Valley, so... Oh boy. I'm doing this for views, okay? Okay, come on. I deserve a like for this alone.
Okay, so overall thoughts on these. Um, I will say that the finished artwork came out much better than what I was expecting because, well, to be quite frank, the swatches sucked. However, you can still do something with these even though I really think that the ones from Arteza were way better because these were pretty dang dry still. Not the biggest fan, I'll admit, but at least it was only four dollars. Would I recommend these? Not hardly. So that is my final two cents on these. I uh, not terribly impressed. While I still like what I was able to do with them, at times it was kind of frustrating. So I, I'd just stick with regular watercolors and ditch these. Okay, I was hoping for something more dramatic, but that gets the point across. Anyways, I'm afraid that's all the time we have for today's video. If you enjoyed, learned something, sometimes it's important to learn what not to get, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, while we're at it, why not visit my Instagram at SilverHyenaArt. I seriously need to update that. There's a lot of things that I need to do that I just don't have time for anymore. It is frustrating. I'm sure most of you can relate. Anyways, with all that being said, this is Silver Hyena signing off. And you can't trust everything you get at a clothing store. A discount clothing store at that. Oh yes, and of course, stay creative everybody. Bye!